guys, what's up? Bargain Hobo here. Today is May's review, The Art of a Man Named Lucas. Get ready for... Ha! Gotcha. Nope. Today we're covering Sam and Max Hit the Road on the PC. Okay, fine. It's not a Star Wars game. Fine. Thing is, though, LucasArts is more than just Star Wars, guys. Gotta be wary of that. So, should we go on this road trip with Sam and Max, or should we be praying and just be left at the next stop? Let's find out. It's time to hobo up! The story for Sam and Max Hit the Road is that Bruno the Bigfoot has gone missing from a local carnival, and Trixie has gone with him, so Sam and Max need to travel the country and find him and figure out what's going on around here. You know, it's just the basic find this person yarn, but it gets a pass. Gameplay for Hit the Road is a point-click adventure game where Sam and Max need to find items, use these items, and find new locations to ultimately figure out just what's going on. Everything has a different way you need to interact with it, and there's six commands you can use. Walk to, talk to, look at, pick up, and use. One nice feature is that you can cycle through all these commands with the right mouse button, so you don't have to cycle through menu to do it, you just click a few times, get the one you need, and use it. It's pretty handy. Along the way, there's items to pick up and people to talk to, Obviously, you can use the right command on these, you can't pick up a person to talk to, and talk to something you can pick up, and so on and so forth. So yeah, use the right command. As you talk to people and find things, new locations open up on the map. So you need to go to these locations, find the things, so yeah. It's basically, go to this place, give this thing to give to that guy, to get this thing to give to that guy, then go to that place, and so on and so forth. Yep, this is a point-and-click adventure game, alright. During the quest, you'll find mini-games. Some of these need to be completed for story items, but others are just for fun. Yeah, look at all this fun I'm having. Hey Max, you okay there? You need an aspirin? No? Okay. Alright guys, but real talk, half my month was eaten up by school, and then other obligations filled in the gap when it's over, so I wasn't able to finish this game. I wasn't even able to get very far. Part of that was lack of time, and part of it also was, this game's a little bit confusing. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, duh, hobo, it's a point-and-click adventure game. The way forward is supposed to be unclear. And you're right, it is. But you're given barely any clues to work off of and have to fill in the blanks from there. You basically just have to throw things at it until you either get lucky and figure it out, or look up a guide. Now, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, this is just my excuse for not finishing this game before reviewing it. Also, yeah, I know it's not May anymore, so I missed my boat there, too. Don't judge me. But while I'm being a negative Neil, I might as well get into some actual complaints about the game. First off, the controls are a bit clunky. They work, but they can be a little bit clunky at times. Trying to cycle items can be annoying at times. And some of the minigames don't work quite as well as they should. And Also, you're seeing the footage is kind of slowing down and speeding up. I apologize for that. I don't know why that is. But I guess that's just a product of trying to run an old game on new hardware. I don't know. And yeah, I know. I could have looked up a guide if I really wanted to. But for the sake of review, I just don't feel like I should. I feel like I need to rely on my own skills, or lack thereof in this case, to get by. But I get it. It's supposed to be unclear, so when you finally figure it out, it feels satisfying. So I'm not going to rag on the game too much for that. Too much, anyway. The presentation of this game is really charming. This is an old game, which just has that old game charm that new games just could never capture. This game looks nice, sounds nice, just that nice retro aesthetic, the voice acting is fantastic, and the surreal environment everything takes place in, it's just, it really works here. Sam and Max is very surreal, as this game will teach you very quickly. So that's Sam and Max Hit the Road. How is it? Let's look at it and see. How's it play? Like any good point-and-click adventure game, it has, you know, commands you can use, and it's interestingly difficult to figure out your way forward. Now, to be fair, I know that's the point of the game, and I would have had more time for it if school hadn't eaten up half the month. But, you know, it, it plays well. I, I Like I said, the ability to cycle through your commands with the right mouse button is cool. That doesn't stop things from getting a little clunky, though. But it works pretty well. How does it look and sound? The music's awesome, the graphics are cool. It, it really is a good-looking game, and it's old, and I just love those old point-and-click adventure games. I just love the charm they have. So yeah, good looking, good sounding game, fun playing game, although a little confusing, again, that's the point. So you know what guys, Hobo approves. Well, that wraps up another episode of Bargain and Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Come back in June, where we'll go a little mad. What game will we talk about? Find out next month. Hobo, out!